I think all of us as living animals have a special, deeply seated biological connection with other living, breathing things. And I believe that connecting with animals one-on-one -on -one is one of the most powerful ways to get people to connect with nature and to care about protecting it for the future. The southern sea otter is listed on the endangered species list. Today there are only 2,700 sea otters in the California coast. If we want to see them continue to increase their numbers and be here for all of us to enjoy in the future, we need enforcement and we need to continue to work on cleaning up the ocean waters that they call home. The game wardens in our state have a huge role in the future of the California sea otter population. They're out there on the water making sure that the regulations are enforced, looking out to make sure that everyone understands what areas are off limits. The idea with the protected areas for California sea otters is to have some areas that are as untouched as possible where sea otters and their prey can survive and thrive. If we want to have the amazing wildlife here in California that we have today, each of us needs to get involved supporting funding for wildlife protection, supporting the very progressive legislation that's made California a leader in environmental protection. Another thing we can all do is make the right personal choices, what seafood we eat, and then last but certainly not least, we can get our kids in nature. Nothing's more important than getting out and enjoy nature and creating a lifelong sense of value for nature and what it means to us all. California is a big state and we have a vast coastline. We only have 250 game wardens to look after that huge domain. Any support that we can provide is just an absolutely essential investment for the future.